Rightio, we are now going to work on the new style of coal power I've come up with. It's a new plan I've been using with compacted coal. This requires you to have unlocked the compact coal re recipe. It also requires you to have overclocking unlocked. With this layout, we build a module of nine coal generators that have nine water extractors and nine assemblers making compact coal. There is a one-to-one -one relationship with everything there, and that relationship flows through starting at the generator is overclocked to 250%. Now, the generator overclocked to 250%, it requires exactly 14.454 compact coal per minute to operate. And it requires 91 water per minute to operate. So what we do is, the assembler that makes compact coal, we underclock it to 58%, which makes 14.5 compact coal per minute. So that assembler just feeds that generator. And the water extractor is underclocked to 76%. So that water extractor is connected directly to that coal generator. And it allows for a really clean, simple build. We know the standard you know, you've just started playing the game and the ratio that everyone seems to go by is the eight coal generators to three water extractors with some special pipes, connections and all that stuff. And that's great. It works perfectly fine. But it requires you to do a little bit of fancy pipe work and things like that. This is just one-to-one, -one, which means if you have the water space... then there's no reason why you can't do this build this way on the water. And also, at this location, I have a pure sulfur node and a pure coal node. Perfect what we need for doing compact coal. To extrapolate the numbers out a bit more, the nine assemblers making compact coal, that turns out to be 130.5 per minute coal required and 130.5 sulfur per minute required. And that works really well, for instance, when you're at the steel stage, tier 3, 4, we've got Mark 3 belts. Mark 3 belts allow you to transport 270 per minute. And with 130.5 for, for nine machines... That by two is 261, which is just shy of your 270 belt speed. So, and the nine generators generate something in the range of 1.3 gigawatts overclocked. So you're getting 2.6 gigawatts out of a Mark III belt of coal and sulfur. This whole setup really balances quite well with a few, few different things. Now we need to get to the actual building stage of it. And the building stage is where we are going to put the foundations down below. Now, as you've seen before with the building techniques we've used and what we've talked about, we maintaining foundation alignment. So I'm going to bring down from these foundations all the way down to the bottom. Okay, here's our foundation down here. My alignment needs to be is 20 foundations. I'm just going to build this out. We'll count it in a second. The first thing I want to do is I'm building this where I'm going to copy and paste it in the future. Okay, so I kind of want to be aware of things like that wall there and cutting into the wall so maybe that cliff face just to be careful and then there's that one there if i was going to go that way um, let's let's say this is a pretty safe bet i think the size of the foundation setup is 20 
by four.